Hi guys! It's currently 30 something degrees in Cuba, New Mexico. And today is our second full day on our family road trip. We're on our way to go to a to go to Oslepa, which is like this weird weird rock formation area. It has weird sandstone rock formations, but it's really hard to get there. And it's, it has unknown pathways, like it's not marked on the map. So we're trying to rely on multiple websites, multiple, um, multiple websites that have people that have been there, like blogs and stuff to get to that location. And also it's been rainy and really cold. So we don't even know if we can get in there, but right now we're at the gas station getting gas. It's 3.35 per gallon here. We drove from Albuquerque to Nagizi, New Mexico, which was about a two hour and 20 minute drive to reach Valley of Dreams. Aslepa is not very explored, especially since it's not distinctly marked on Apple and Google Maps. Also, there was zero service in this area. Thank goodness we, my parents brought our own Wi-Fi router. We had to use three websites, one blog, and one All Trails app with subscription to reach this area. Also, this unpaved state road was super bumpy, slightly muddy, and very unsuitable for a small car. But after a while, we finally made it to Aslepa after many guess and checks. At least it wasn't snowing, guys. So we made it to somewhere that's probably the Valley of Dreams. It's like in this desolated area. These weird sandstone rock formations. In the middle of nowhere. And it's literally just my family and I. No signal here. I'm gonna try and get on the show. These with us. are the three wise men. This one. Right there, right there, right there. And our RV is all the way over there. This area is supposed to be Hootie with two eggs. It's supposed to be a di red dinosaur egg over there, and giant mushroom over there. Yeah, 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 our RV is now all the way over there. We walked about 4,000, a little less than 4,000 steps. We walked an hour, hiked for an hour. So I think we've three miles. We walked two, three miles. It's, it's pretty cold. It's pretty cold. A little bit muddy. Where are we going? Keep going. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a petrified wood turtle according to the map. Yeah. I can't find oh, where the red like dinosaur that. egg is, where the mushroom. the dinosaur eggs. Good job. There's one right there. One right there. Maybe one right there. Dara. These are supposed to be chocolate mushrooms. Like that one. That one. That one. Chocolate mushrooms. This is the alien throne. That's like the king's throne. That one looks like another throne. We made it. We made it to the Valley of Dreams.
giant mushroom. Voila. And this is also a mushroom right here. That looks like a baby mushroom that's dangling down. It feels like we're in inside underneath like a valley with these sandstone sandstone formations so weird it's so cool though we saw like a few people there's five people that were walking ahead of us and then like two more that were coming in we're pretty much done with touring or hiking, if you will, through the Valley of Dreams. So we started the hike at 11.49. It's now 2.20. So we spent about two, two hours and 20 minutes while hiking to the Valley of Dreams and back. And going to end the day here. Probably not going to go to off to another hike because the sun is going down and we're afraid that if we go on to another hike today then it will get dark fast. We might, might not find a way out but key takeaway here is come on a more warmer weather day. There's rain and we almost we almost decide to head back and not keep hiking which I'm really glad we didn't I'm glad we didn't give up because then we would have seen all those weird and cool looking formations it's got the warmer suns out a little bit and behind me you can't see anything anymore so we did end up going to Asaslepa, but the route to explore was too long for us with the time we had left before sunset. So we hiked for about half a mile and then headed back. After we hiked back to our RV, we decided to set up boondocking for the night. Boondocking is also known as dry camping. It's where you camp without any water or electricity hookups to your car. So we were the only car in the middle of nowhere camping for the night in Asaslepa. The wind picked up a lot during the night. I could not fall asleep. All I heard was the wind blowing away. It was pitch black by the time it was 6, 5 p.m. And we went to sleep at 6 p 7 p.m. and then woke up at 6 a.m. I got very little sleep and we got up early and got the heck out of there. It was a little scary being there, but it was an experience. Thank you for watching. Stay warm, happy new year, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.